أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغلوب عليهم ولا الضالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أأنذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشره بمغفرة وأجر كريم إنا نحن نحيي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أحصيناه في إمام مبين واضرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاءها المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليه مثنين فكذبوهما فعززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إنا إليكم لمرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إنا تطيرنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجمنكم وليمسنكم منا عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مسرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجرا وهم مهتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتخذ من دونه آلهة إن يردني الرحمن بضر لا تغني عني شفاعتهم شيئا ولا ينقذون إني إذا لفي ضلال مبين إني آمنت بربكم فاسمعون قيل دخل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجعلني من المكرمين 
وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعده من جند من السماء وما كنا منزلين إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم خامدون يا حسرة على العباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا محضرون وآية لهم الأرض الميتة أحييناها وأخرجنا منها حبا فمنه يأكلون وجعلنا فيها جنات من نخيل وأعناب وفجرنا فيها من العيون ليأكلوا من ثمره وما عملته أيديهم أفلا يشكرون سبحان الذي خلق الأزواج كلها مما تنبت الأرض ومن أنفسهم ومما لا يعلمون وآية لهم الليل نسلخ منه النهار فإذا هم مظلمون والشمس تجري لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العليم والقمر قدرناه منازل حتى عاد كالعرجون القديم للشمس ينبغي لها أن تدرك القمر ولا الليل سابق النهار وكل في فلك يسبحون وآية لهم أنا حملنا ذريتهم في الفلك المشحون وخلقنا لهم من مثله ما يركبون وإن نشأ نغرقهم فلا صريخ لهم ولا هم ينقذون إلا رحمة منا ومتاعا إلى حين وإذا قيل لهم اتقوا ما بين أيديكم وما خلفكم لعلكم ترحمون وما تأتيهم من آية من آيات ربهم إلا كانوا عنها معرضين وإذا قيل لهم أنفقوا مما رزقكم الله قال الذين كفروا للذين آمنوا أن نطعم من لو يشاء الله أطعمه إن أنتم إلا في ضلال مبين ويقولون متى هذا الوعد إن كنتم صادقين ما ينذرون إلا صيحة واحدة تأخذهم وهم يخصمون فلا يستطيعون توسية ولا إلى أهلهم يرجعون ونفخ في السور فإذا هم من الأجداث إلى ربهم ينسلون قالوا يا ويلنا من بعثنا من مرقدنا هذا ما وعد الرحمن وصدق المرسلون إن كانت إلا صيحة واحدة فإذا هم جميع لدينا محضرون فاليوم لا تظلم نفس شيئا ولا تجزون إلا ما كنتم تعملون إن أصحاب الجنة اليوم في شغل فاكهون هم وأزواجهم في ظلال على الأرائك متكئون لهم فيها فاكهة ولهم ما يدعون سلام 
قولا من رب رحيم وامتاز اليوم أيها المجرمون ألم أعهد إليكم يا بني آدم ألا تعبدوا الشيطان إنه لكم عدو مبين وأن يعبدوني هذا صراط مستقيم ولقد أضل منكم جبلا كثيرا فَلَمْ تَكُونُوا تَعْقِلُونَ هَذِهِ جَهَنَّمُ الَّتِي كُنْتُمْ تُوعَدُونَ إِصْلَوْهَا الْيَوْمَ بِمَا كُنْتُمْ تَكْفُرُونَ الْيَوْمَ نَخْتِمُ عَلَى أَفْوَاهِهِمْ وَتُكَلِّمُنَا أَيْدِيهِمْ وَتَشْهَدُ أَرْجُلُهُمْ بِمَا كَانُوا يَكْسِبُونَ وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَطَمَسْنَا عَلَىٰ أَعْيُنِهِمْ فَاسْتَبَقُوا الصِّرَاطَ فَأَنَّا يُبْسِرُونَ وَلَوْ نَشَاءُ لَمَسَخْنَاهُمْ عَلَىٰ مَكَانَتِهِمْ فَمَا اسْتَطَاعُوا مُضِيًّا وَلَا يَرْجِعُونَ وَمَنْ نُعَمِّرْهُ نُنَكِّسْهُ فِي الْخَلْقِ أَفَلَا يَعْقِلُونَ وَمَا عَلَّمْنَاهُ الشِّعْرَ وَمَا يَنْبَغِي لَهُ إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا ذِكْرٌ وَقُرْآنٌ مُبِينٌ لِيُنْذِرَ مَنْ كَانَ حَيًّا وَيَحِقَّ الْقَوْلُ عَلَى الْكَافِرِينَ أَوَلَمْ يَرَوْا أَنَّا خَلَقْنَا لَهُمْ مِمَّا عَمِلَتْ أَيْدِيْنَا أَنْعَامًا فَهُمْ لَهَا مَالِكُونَ وَذَلَّلْنَاهَا لَهُمْ فَمِنْهَا رَكُوبُهُمْ وَمِنْهَا يَأْكُلُونَ وَلَهُمْ فِيهَا مَنَافِعُ وَمَشَارِبُ أَفَلَا يَشْكُرُونَ وَاتَّخَذُوا مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ آلِهَةً لَعَلَّهُمْ يُنْصَرُونَ لَا يَسْتَطِيعُونَ نَصْرَهُمْ وَهُمْ لَهُمْ جُنْدٌ مُحْضَرُونَ فَلَا يَحْزُنْكَ قَوْلُهُمْ إِنَّا نَعْلَمُ مَا يُسِرُّونَ وَمَا يُعْلِنُونَ أَوَلَمْ يَرَ الْإِنسَانُ أَنَّا خَلَقُنَاهُ مِنْ نُطْفَةٍ فَإِذَا هُوَ خَصِيمٌ مُّبِينٌ وَضَرَبَ لَنَا مَثَلًا وَنَسِيَ خَلْقَهُ قال من يحيي العظام وهي رميم قل يحييها الذي أنشأها أول مرة وهو بكل خلق عليم الذي جعل لكم من الشجر الأخضر نارا فإذا أنتم منه توقدون أوليس الذي خلق السماوات والأرض بقادر على أن يخلق مثلهم بلى وهو الخلاق العليم إنما أمره إذا أراد شيئا أن يقول له كن فيكون فسبحان الذي بيده ملكوت كل شيء وإليه ترجعون صدق الله العظيم اللهم آمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم 
اللهم إنا نحتفظك ونستودعك أدياننا وأبداننا وأنفسنا وأهلنا وأولادنا وأولادنا وأموالنا وكل شيء أعطيتنا اللهم اجعلنا وإياهم في كنفك وأمانك وعياذك من كل شيطان مريد وجبار عنيد وذي بغي وذي حسد ومن شر كل ذي شر إنك على كل شيء قدير اللهم جملنا بالعافية والسلام وحققنا بالتقوى والاستقامة وأعذنا من موجبات الندامة إنك سميع الدعاء اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا وأولادنا ومشايخنا وأصحابنا وإخواننا في الدين ولمن أحبنا فيك ولمن أحسن إلينا والمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات إنك سميع قريب مجيب الدعوات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وصل اللهم على عبدك ورسولك سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم وارزقنا كمال المتابعة له ظاهرا وباتنا في عافية وسلامة برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله يا الله يا الله ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وأدخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه يجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفر الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفر الله 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 
استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله استغفر الله العظيم الذي لا اله الا هو الحي القيوم واتوب اليه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم 
اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الأمي وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمة ذاتك في كل وقت وحين فاعلم أنه لا إله إلا الله 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 سيدنا محمد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الذين قال لهم الناس إن الناس قد جمعوا لكم فاخشوهم فزادهم إيمانا وقالوا حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل 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 
فَانْقَلَبُوا بِنِعْمَةٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَفَضْلٍ لَمْ يَمْسَسْهُمْ سُوءٌ وَاتَّبَعُوا رِضْوَانَ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ ذُو فَضْلٍ عَظِيمٍ اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير اللهم يا لطيف الطف بنا فيما جرت به المقادير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اللهم امين اعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاه والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد صاحب التاج والمعراج والبراك والعلم دافع البلاء والوباء والقحط والمرض والالم اسمه مكتوب مرفوع مشفوع منكوش في اللوح والقلم سيد العرب والعجم جسمه مقدس معتر متهر منور في البيت والحرم شمس الدحى بدر الدجى صدر العلا نور الهدى كهف الورى مصباح الظلم جميل الشيم شفيع الامم صاحب الجود والكرم والله عاصمه وجبريل خادمه والبراك مركبه والمعراج سفره وسدرة المنتهى مقامه وقاب قوسين مطلوبه والمطلوب مقصوده والمقصود موجوده سيد المرسلين خاتم النبيين شفيع المذنبين انيس الغريبين رحمه للعالمين راحه العاشقين مراد المشتاقين شمس العارفين سراج السالكين مصباح المقربين محب الفقراء والغرباء والمساكين سيد الثقلين نبي الحرمين امام القبلتين وسيلتنا في الدارين وسيلتنا في الدارين صاحب قاب قوسين محبوب رب المشرقين والمغربين جد الحسن والحسين جد الحسن والحسين مولانا ومولى الثقلين ابي القاسم محمد بن عبد الله نور من نور الله نور من نور الله يا ايها المشتاقون بنور جماله صلوا عليه واله واصحابه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبدك ورسولك النبي الامي وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم تسليما بقدر عظمه ذاتك في كل وقت وحيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وارغلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين 
ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا علي يا عظيم يا حليم يا عليم أنت ربي وعلمك حسبي فنعم الرب ربي ونعم الحسب حسبي تنسر من تشاء وأنت العزيز الرحيم نسألك العصمة في الحركات والسكنات والكلمات والإرادات والخطرات من الشكوك والذنون والأوهام الساترة للقلوب عن مطالعة الغيوب فقد ابتلي المؤمنون وزلزلوا زلزالا شديدا وإذ يقول المنافقون والذين في قلوبهم مرد ما وعدنا الله ورسوله إلا غرورا فثبتنا وانصرنا وسخر لنا هذا البحر كما سخرت البحر لموسى وسخرت النار لإبراهيم وسخرت الجبال والحديد لداود وسخرت الريح والشياطين والجن لسليمان وسخر لنا كل بحر هو لك في الأرض والسماء والملك والملكوت وبحر الدنيا وبحر الآخرة وسخر لنا كل شيء يا من بيده ملكوت كل شيء كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد كاف ها يا عين صاد انصرنا فإنك خير الناصرين وافتح لنا فإنك خير الفاتحين واغفر لنا فإنك خير الغافرين وارحمنا فإنك خير الراحمين وارزقنا فإنك خير الرازقين واهدنا ونجنا من القوم الظالمين وهب لنا ريحا طيبة كما هي في علمك وانشرها علينا من خزائن رحمتك واحملنا بها حمل الكرامة مع السلامة والعافية في الدين والدنيا والآخرة 
إِنَّكَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٌ اللهم يسر لنا أمورنا مع الراحة لقلوبنا وأبداننا والسلامة والعافية في دنيانا وديننا وكن لنا صاحبا في سفرنا وخليفة في أهلنا واطمس على وجوه أعدائنا وامسخهم على مكانتهم فلا يستطيعون المضيء ولا المجيء إلينا ولو نشاء لطمسنا على أعينهم فاستبقوا الصراط فأنا يبسرون ولو نشاء لمسخناهم على مكانتهم فما استطاعوا مضيا ولا يرجعون ياسين والقرآن الحكيم إنك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزيل العزيز الرحيم لتنذر قوما ما أنذر آباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد حق القول على أكثرهم فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناقهم أغلالا فهي إلى الأذقان فهم مكمحون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم سدا ومن خلفهم سدا فأغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه شاهت الوجوه وعنت الوجوه للحي القيوم وقد خاب من حمل ظلما طاسين حاميم عين قاف مرج البحرين يلتقيان بينهما برزخ لا يبغيان حاميم 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 هم الأمر وجاء النصر فعلينا لا ينصرون حاميم تنزيل الكتاب من الله العزيز العليم غافر الذنب وقابل الطوب شديد العقاب ذي التول لا إله إلا هو إليه المصير بسم الله بابنا تبارك حيطاننا ياسين سقفنا كاف ها يا عين صاد كفايتنا حاميم عين سين قاف حمايتنا فسيكفيكهم الله وهو السميع العليم 
فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ فَسَيَكْفِيكَهُمُ اللَّهُ وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ سِتْرُ الْعَرْشِ مَسْبُولٌ عَلَيْنَا وَعَيْنُ اللَّهِ نَاظِرَةٌ إِلَيْنَا بِحَوْلِ اللَّهِ لَا يُقْدَرُ عَلَيْنَا وَاللَّهُ مِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ مُحِيطٌ بَلْ هُوَ قُرْآنٌ مَجِيدٌ فِي لَوْحٍ مَحْفُوظٌ فَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ حَافِظًا وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ فَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ حَافِظًا وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ فَاللَّهُ خَيْرٌ حَافِظًا وَهُوَ أَرْحَمُ الرَّاحِمِينَ إِنَّ وَلِيَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِي نَزَّلَ الْكِتَابَ وَهُوَ يَتَوَلَّى الصَّالِحِينَ إن ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين إن ولي الله الذي نزل الكتاب وهو يتولى الصالحين حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم حسبي الله لا إله إلا هو عليه توكلت وهو رب العرش العظيم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم بسم الله الذي لا يضر مع اسمه شيء في الأرض ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق أعوذ بكلمات الله التامات من شر ما خلق ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ الْعَلِيِّ الْعَظِيمِ وَلَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ الْعَلِيِّ الْعَظِيمِ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَى سَيِّدِنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِهِ وَصَحْبِهِ وَسَلَّمَ بِسْمِ اللَّهِ والحمد لله رب العالمين أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الله لطيف بعباده يرزق من يشاء وهو القوي العزيز 
Ya Latifu Ya Latif 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 Ya Latifan Bi Khalqihi Ya Aliman Bi Khalqihi Ya Khabiran Bi Khalqihi ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير يا لطيفا بخلقه يا عليما بخلقه يا خبيرا بخلقه ألطف بنا يا لطيف يا عليم يا خبير اللهم يا من لطفت في خلق السماوات والأرض ولطفت بالأجنة في بطون أمهاتها ألطف بنا لطفا يليك بكرمك ورحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين يا الله اللهم يا من جعلت الصلاة على النبي من القربات نتقرب إليك بكل صلاة سليت عليه من أول النشأة إلى ما لا نهاية من الكمالات بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يسوق الخير إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا يصرف السوء إلا الله بسم الله ما شاء الله وما بكم من نعمة فمن الله بسم الله ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم 
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك اللهم صل صلاة كاملة وسلم سلاما تاما على سيدنا محمد الذي تنحل به العقد وتنفرج به الكرب وتقضى به الحوائج وتنال به الرغائب وحسن الخواتيم ويستسقى الغمام بوجهه الكريم وعلى آله وصحبه في كل لمحة ونفس بعدد كل معلوم لك إن شاء الله نكتنى بذكر جامعة لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله لا إله إلا الله محمد رسول الله في كل لمحة ونفس عدد ما وسعاه علم الله إن شاء الله ما يكتوعنا اللهم أمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد كما صليت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد
كما بركت على سيدنا إبراهيم وعلى آل سيدنا إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our Shaykh, teacher, Murshid, and master, Sayyidina Shaykh Faisal Hamid Abdul Razak. O oh Allah, may you increase him in knowledge and wisdom. O oh Allah, may you protect him from evil, and we pray that he will lead his marids on the straight path towards you. O oh Allah, we pray for the Shaykh and his family. We pray that you strengthen them in Iman, keep them in good health, and grant them long life in Islam. O oh Allah, we pray that you protect them from all evil, ease their trials, and grant them the sweetness of paradise. رَبَّنَا آتِنَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنًا وَفِي الْآخِرَةِ حَسَنًا وَقِينَا عَذَابِ النَّارِ O Allah, forgive us for our sins and guide us on the straight path leading to paradise. O Allah, you know the needs of all of us present here. O Allah, answer our dawn and take care of our needs. O Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for our parents that you grant them your grace and mercy as they raised us in childhood. O Allah, grant our parents long life and good health in Islam. O Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive our parents and grant them paradise. O Allah, for our parents who have passed away and returned to you, Allah, we beg you to forgive them. O Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the murids of Shaykh Faisal throughout the world. O Allah, we pray that you ease our trials and, us, and grant us the strength to face our trials. O Allah, make it easy for us to gain true knowledge and to practice it, to be good murids and to get ever closer to you. O Allah, you know the needs of all of the murids. O Allah, we beg you to answer our, our dua and take care of our needs. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for all the Muslims around the world. O oh Allah, we pray that you strengthen us in Iman. O oh Allah, we pray for unity and to make us stronger as a nation. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, please comfort and relieve all Muslims who are suffering and have suffered losses. O oh Allah, you are the all-powerful and the almighty. O oh Allah, we beg you to give us victory against the unbelievers. O oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we pray for the International Islamic Forum and then Faisal and Dhikr Halaqa. May you make it easy for us to establish many messages for your sake. May you bless the Islamic form and then fasten the Dhikr Halakha to be a beacon of to be a beacon of light for Islam throughout the world. And may you help us to finish building the new masjid soon and make it easy for us to do so. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadan wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al-mursani walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان 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 اللهم بارك لنا في رجب وشعبان وبلغنا رمضان
Subbuhun kuddusun rabbul malaikati wal ruh 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 Allahumma barik lana fi rajab 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 
اللهم بارك لنا في رجب 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 أعوذ بالله السميع العليم من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن سيدنا محمد عبد الله ورسوله اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الهزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. And welcome once again to our special program. This is our daily broadcast coming to you from your Zawiya here at the Islamic Forum of Canada starting at 7 p.m. Toronto time or Eastern time. We welcome you to our program today. We thank you for joining us to watch the program today. And we hope you can join us every day, 7 p.m. Toronto time, for this beautiful, blessed, sacred program. We also kindly request you to tell others, your family members, your relatives, your friends, other Muslims that you know, tell them about this program. Share the YouTube link with them. Invite them to watch the program. Inshallah, they'll benefit and you will receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We also kindly request you to enter your name in the chat, your name in the city where you're from, and your update on the three ongoing projects. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for so doing. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. And then next to the subscribe button, there's a bell icon. Click on the bell and select all for notifications that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you even more and you would receive all the updated information about our different programs. I also want to take this opportunity to uh, thank the sponsors of our dinner program uh, for this month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them for uh, sponsoring the dinner program, all the families that have done so and are doing so. 
And we also want to recognize our donors, those who donated today, yesterday, and before. <clears throat> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all our donors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them, bless their families, bless their loved ones. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enrich them many more times than what they donate to the Islam Forum and grant barakah in their wealth and increase their sustenance and their risk because of their donation to the Islamic Forum, inshallah. And we kindly request you to join that group of donors to donate something today to the Islamic Forum. This program, every day we do this program and we focus on two important objectives for each and every one of you. Uh, first of all, your safety, your well-being, your afia, uh, your good state and good well-being. Uh, our concern for that and our continuous and continuing dua for your well-being and your safety, inshallah. And secondly, your spirituality, your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your connection to the Prophet sallallahu your connection to Islam, your connection to the Quran in this way that you, your spirituality is strengthened and it becomes uh, st more strong and you get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, and by following the teachings and instructions of uh, the program, inshallah, you would certainly get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So our focus, your safety, your well-being, uh, your health, your protection, and then your spirituality, your connection to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And to this lent now, to this objective, we have prepared for you uh, some special uh, videos. Uh, so far, uh, the series includes some the, what we call the editor's pick, and I want to say something about that today. Uh, but do reminded of the three projects that you can hang on to, hold on to, and implement in a conscientious way, in a serious, committed way in your lives: the gratitude project, the salawat project, and the Quran project. Uh, now, our wonderful staff here at the Islamic Forum, they prepared these special editor's pick short videos for uh, your uh, benefit, for your enjoyment uh, in this way. And I wanted to share uh, some description of uh, these special videos that inshallah you uh, can be inspired to look at these videos and to like them and to share them with uh, other people that you know so that they can also benefit from these videos. The first one in the series is what we call a bonus video, uh, particularly related to the Quran project that we have, that it would inspire uh, everyone that uh, look at this video to join the Quran project and have this special relationship with the Quran. The, the description our staff is prepared for this video. It, it goes as follows. In the late 1990s, Boston refugees came to Canada looking for shelter during the Boston conflict when they were being killed and slaughtered uh, and the massacre that uh, took place there. They, they ran from their homes, from their country to find a place of safety. And Canada was one of those places that welcomed them invited them to come and so the, the Bosnian refugees came to Canada and it continues, Sheikh Faisal went to greet them and welcome them to Canada uh, and to show them support and solidarity on behalf of Canadian Muslims. So myself and other Muslim leaders as well uh, went to where they were staying and at that time when they arrived to Canada they were housed in the Canadian Armed Forces base. Uh, special places for, as for temporary housing before more permanent arrangements could be made for them. So we went uh, to visit them, uh, myself and others. There was one particular interaction that stuck with Sheikh Faisal throughout all these years. Listen to Sheikh Faisal tell this beautiful and heartwarming story uh, about what I experienced there. A beautiful story with one of the families and it, it, it shows their love and their attachment to the Quran. In all those difficult circumstances that they went through, it's, it's wonderful. It, it, it still touches my heart uh, every time I remember that experience. And so this is one of the videos that we have in our special series. So we encourage you to look at this video. And to do so, 
uh, send us your email address and then we will email you the link for the video that you can look at the video inshallah. So this is the first of the special series of editors pick that our staff has be pr prepared for you inshallah. And, and we hope that from this first video you would be inspired to join the Quran project which is to recite one page of the Quran every day at least and inshallah a time will come where you you'll recite the entire Quran from beginning to end. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless uh, you to do so and bless all of us to recite the Quran time and time again. The second video or which is video number one now for the editor's pick because the first one is uh, billed as a bonus video for you for the Quran project. This video is titled they asked the Prophet ﷺ, when is the day of judgment? And the description goes as follows. People throughout history have declared to know when the end of time will come. People have made such claims. Uh, sometimes giving a date to it. If you remember not too long ago uh, when the millennium, the new millen millennium is coming, uh, at the turn of uh, the year 2000, people were saying all kinds of things then of the end of the world. Then there was another occasion, uh, 2012, uh, they were saying that's the end of the world. And people were actually uh, preparing for the end of the world and so on, those who believe in that. So throughout history, you've seen this happening. But these were all blank statements. For only Allah SWT knows when the end will come. Uh, and uh, in, the, in the famous hadith of Jibreel salam, the hadith of the angel Gabriel, when the, the angel Jibreel salam came to the Prophet ﷺ and asked questions in the presence of Sahabas, and this hadith is narrated by Sayyidina Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu. And one of the questions he asked, after asking about Islam, and then Iman, and then Ihsan, then he asked about the Sa'a, the hour of judgment, when is our judgment? And the Prophet told him, neither you nor me uh, knows about the, the, when is the day of judgment. And then he asked him about the signs of the day of judgment and the Prophet responded to that. So the, the, the only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows when this will happen. Right. So the, a sahaba, a companion of the Prophet, came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and asked him this question, Ya Rasulullah, Tell me when is the day of judgment? And usually, the Prophet ﷺ would answer in the same way uh, that no one knows when is the day of judgment. This time he responded differently. He responded differently to the Sahaba. So this particular video talks about that. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful story. And at the end, uh, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned some words that brought tears of joy to this particular Sahaba and to the Sahabas, all of them, when they heard what the Prophet ﷺ told them what will happen, and it brought tears of joy to them. They became so happy that they cried in this way. So this, this particular video, which is uh, the, the editor's pick number one, or vision number one, talks about this story, beautiful story that you should listen to uh, and then you should share it with others, you know, share the, the video, this particular video with all your family members, relatives, friends and others so that they can benefit from it and you can uh, gain increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then uh, to, to receive this video, send us your email and we will send you the link for this video, inshallah. I, I want to share with you the uh, second of the special editor's pick that the staff uh, at the Islamic Forum have prepared for you. This one is titled, This Dhikr is a Treasure Under the Throne of Allah. This dhikr is a treasure under the throne of Allah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His throne encompasses everything. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on His throne. Uh, and th then He has 
treasures there that are described. And this particular dhikr is described as a treasure under the throne of Allah. Subhanallah. So, uh, would it not be nice for you to recite a dhikr which is a treasure under the throne of Allah? And it's also an indication of the, the power and greatness of this dhikr. The, the spiritual value of this particular dhikr, which is described uh, as a treasure under the throne, the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The description of this particular video uh, goes as follows. Many people feel that they are so powerful. There are people who are, feel they're powerful, and because of this now, they behave in an arrogant way. They feel they're so powerful, so they treat people with disdain and disrespect and so on. For some, it takes a global pandemic so that they can realize the limit of their power. And some people may benefit from this pandemic if they change, if they can realize uh, their limitations. And, and by all means, they should. They should realize their limitations because look at what uh, this global pandemic has done to the world to the world really uh, it has brought the world to its knees and not only poor people or poor countries uh, the the wealthiest countries the, the the most powerful countries have been affected by this you look at the statistics of what is happening. Yes, many powerful countries have been affected by this global pandemic, perhaps more so than the poor countries. So it's a sign from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it says for some it takes a global pandemic for them to realize the limit of the power. But this isn't the way of the believer. This isn't the realization that we should have. We must rid, get rid of our false conviction to our own personal power. And we can do nothing except through the ultimate power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for the believer now, they know that power lies with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do anything and everything, whatever he wants to do. So they submit to Allah. And they, are not, they don't feel that they have their own individual independent power. This is the way of the believer. It's different. It's different. They're humble with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And so I want to share with you a teaching as described by the Prophet Sallallahu as a treasure among the treasures under the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And we ask Almighty Allah to uh, connect us to him and to the noble messenger Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So this video would explain uh, this uh, important story for us from the Prophet Sallallahu how he is describing this treasure under the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we can benefit from inshallah. I, I also want to remind you once again of the three ongoing projects. Uh, firstly, the gratitude project, which is for you to write down something that you're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. You enter that in the chat every day for a program and in it after you enter your name and the city where you're from, the gratitude project, something you're grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. And, and this should remind you to always be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, always express gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do things that would show this gratitude you have for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the gratitude project, to always be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then secondly, the salawat project. And the salawat project is to recite salawat on the Prophet every day. Whatever number you would like to do, to recite the salawat on the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa such as to say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin abdika wa rasulika in nabiyyil ummi wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallim. To recite that, as often as you can every day and to record the number you recite every day. We recommend that you should recite the Weird al dhikr in the morning after Fajr, in the evening after Maghrib. 
or any time thereafter. If for some reason you're not able to do it immediately after Fajr, then any time in the morning you try to do it as soon as possible thereafter. Similarly in the evening, if you're not able to do it after Maghrib, then you do it as, as, as soon as you're able to, inshallah. So twice a day, in the morning and the evening, the word alarm vicar, uh, which we do every day in our program, and we have it on our website as well, uh, that you can download the audio file or you can listen to it. Uh, there's a PDF file you can print out uh, to follow along, recite the word alarm. Because every time you recite the word alarm vicar, you're reciting the salawat a hundred times. So minimum, a hundred times in the morning, a hundred times in the evening, that you should be reciting salawat inshallah, Salwat project. And thirdly, the Quran project, which is to recite at least one page of the Quran every day. And we hope you, you can do so, inshallah. The first thing is that you must make your niyyah, your intention to join the Quran project. I know many of, you have, many of you have done so. If you have not, if any one of you have not done so, please do so now. Make your niyyah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, I intend, I make my niyyah to join the Quran project. And then you strive to recite at least one page of the Quran every day. Uh, you, 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 you should do that at the beginning of your day. In the morning, you get to be pretty fajr and so on. You do your read alam uh, and, and you, and of course your dua, especially. Then you recite your one page of the Quran every day. It's very easy. You get it out of the way, kind of. You do it two, three minutes like this. Just a few minutes, you recite your one page of the Quran. If you have more time, you do more. And during the day, for the rest of the day, maybe after Dhuhr Salah, Asr Maghrib, after the Salah, you do your one page if you have some time. But at least you've done it at the beginning of the day. You don't miss it. Every day, you're doing at least one page of the Quran. That is the Quran project I would like you to be mindful of. And uh, do remember the Infaq project as well, to spend something every day for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for so doing. And so today, I, I wanted to share with you uh, some information uh, about the special video series we have for you, the Editor's Pick video series. Uh, and to encourage you to send your email to us so we can send you the link for the videos and you can look at them and share it with everyone you know, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for so doing. And now for a special lecture for today. May Allah bless you. Amen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa salatu wa salam wa ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in amma ba'd I want to share with you today this wonderful opportunity to gain much blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions in the hadith ma naqasa malu 'abdin min sadaqa the wealth of a person will never decrease because of spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Meaning that your wealth will increase when you spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you engage in infaq fi sabilillah. Your wealth will increase. And so the opportunity for you to increase your wealth greatly by spending in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The opportunity I want to share with you is uh, for our live stream broadcast, this broadcast that you who have been watching, uh, many of you every day, many of you several times a week, uh, the, the daily broadcast we have at 7 p.m., the Juma broadcast at 1 p.m. on Fridays, uh, the special programs, the special maulids, halakas, uh, and so on. So many different programs we have, and many people are benefiting from this program, as you know, many brothers and sisters like yourselves, families from many different countries are benefiting from the live stream broadcast. And we need to acquire new equipment and to update our equipment we have that we are using for the live stream broadcast. And there are several items we need. And the first one I want to share with you today and to appeal to you for this, it's the camera. We need to get a new camera, and the budget for the camera is six thousand uh, dollars. Uh, our, our wonderful staff here at Islam Forum they've done their research uh, in this matter, and so we need to acquire that camera 
uh, and the cost is $6,000, and we hope you can uh, donate towards uh, this project. We've divided that amount into shares of $100, and so you can donate one share of $100, or five shares, which is $500, or 10 shares, which is $1,000, or more, whatever you can afford, and whatever blessings you would like to receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To make your donation, uh, you can go to our website, Islam Forum website at islamicforumonline.com and then on the donation page uh, you would see uh, one of the buttons for the different categories of donation labeled live stream equipment. It's the second button in the list of uh, categories for donation. So you click on that button live stream equipment and you would make your donations for this specific uh, cause that we are appealing to you for. Uh, we, we hope you can respond and respond generously uh, immediately by donating as many shares as you can, each share being $100 and the total amount we would like to raise for the camera is $6,000. This is the first item we need and there are several items. We would let you know once we collect the money for the camera, we would go on to the next item and we let you know the details about that. So uh, do respond and respond generously and may Allah SWT bless you. Once again, the Prophet ﷺ says, ما نقص مال من صدقة. ما نقص مال عبد من صدقة. The, the wealth of a servant of Allah SWT never decreases because they spend in the way of Allah. The wealth will only increase. Allah SWT will grant them increase in their wealth. And may Allah SWT bless you. May Allah SWT bless your entire family and all your loved ones because of your financial support for the Islamic Forum. Ameen. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in On this blessed occasion of the month of Sha'ban al-Mu'azzam being with us we have a new series of lectures relating to the month of Sha'ban This month of Sha'ban is special the main reason being that the Prophet ﷺ treated this month in a special way. And because he treated this month in a special way, it should be special for us. This month is actually called Shahrul Rasul, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Yes, such a beautiful description for this month. The month before, uh, Rajab is referred to as Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And uh, this month of Sha'aban is referred to as Shahrul Rasul, the month of the Messenger of Allah, of Rasulullah. And the next month that's coming soon, the month of Ramadan al Mubarak, is referred to as Shahrun lil Mu'mineen, the month for the believers. So a, a beautiful time indeed and, and this month a, a special month with special virtues there are many important events which took place in this month uh, that caused it to be uh, described as Shahrul Rasul the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and uh, so in this special series of lectures we want to uh, share reflections, special reflections on the month of Sha'aban, its virtues, the virtues of the month of Sha'aban and Mu'addam, the importance and significance, the things we should do in this month to take us close to, closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and closer to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Remember, uh, we, we said in Rajab, uh, we plant the seeds of good deeds in Rajab. And now for Sha'aban, we nourish and cultivate and water those seeds of good deeds. And then in Ramadan, to harvest and reap the rewards, the fruits of those good deeds. So now is the time for cultivation, uh, nourishing, uh, to, to roll up our sleeves and do the hard work so that we can reap uh, a wonderful harvest uh, of spiritual fruits and benefits in Ramadan, the greatest of which is Al-Idku Minanar, 
freedom from the fire of hell. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, take you closer to him and fill uh, our hearts, all of us, with mahabba, love for him and love for Rasulullah sallallahu the beloved of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we pray that uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and that you will enjoy this special series of lectures on the month of Sha'aban. And uh, do remember to share this information with everyone you know, family members, relatives, friends, other Muslims you know, so that they can also benefit uh, and know more about the month of Sha'aban al-Mu'adham. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Ameen. A'udhu Billahi Sameel Aleem Min Ash-Shaytan Ar-Rajeem Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa Salatu Wa Salamu Ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ashabihi Ajma'een Wa Ashhadu An La Ilaha Illa Allah Wahdahu La Sharika La Wa Ashhadu An Sayyidina Muhammadan Abdullahi Wa Rasooluh اللهم افتح علينا فتوح العارفين ووفقنا توفيق الصالحين وانفعنا اللهم بالقرآن والذكر الحكيم اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا وزدنا من فضلك علما وتعليما يقربنا منك برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا سهل إلا ما جعلته سهلا وأنت يا حي يا قيوم تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا سهلا اللهم أعزنا من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا وأصلح لنا شأننا كله لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين آمين آمين أما بعد. My dear respected brothers and sisters, I greet you all with the greetings of Islam. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. May the peace and blessings of God Almighty be with each and every one of you. We share with you in this new series of lectures uh, on the significance, the virtues of the month of Sha'aban al-Mu'adham. Uh, this special month, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. This month, Sha'aban, is a month that has great significance and many virtues. And we find uh, specific instructions in the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ as to what the Prophet ﷺ did in this month. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ treated the month of Sha'aban in a special way. In fact, uh, it is called Shahru Rasul, the month of Rasulullah ﷺ. The previous month, Rajab is referred to as Shahrullah, the month of Allah. And this month, Sha'ban, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And then the next month, Ramadan as Shahrun lil Mu'mineen, the month for the believers. So a wonderful uh, three-month period of time, and we are smack in the middle, uh, the second of this three-month period, uh, the month of Sha'ban al-Mu'adham. Uh, and the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the authentic hadith he, it's mentioned that he used to fast most of the month of Sha'ban. Uh, in another description he used to fast in Sha'ban more than in any other month except the month of Ramadan which is a month of total and complete fast. Uh, but uh, it's, it's, it's formally established by the Sahih hadith, the authentic hadith about the Prophet Alaihi Wasallam fasting much in this month of Sha'aban and, and it's not required as, as is the case for Ramadan 
uh, it's not a fard, but the, the Prophet Alaihissalam treated this month in a special way, and this is something uh, we must all realize, so that we can follow in the footsteps of the Prophet Sallallahu by treating this month in a special way. Shaban, this month is it's it's the eighth month of the Islamic year, the Islamic lunar calendar, the Islamic year. It's the eighth month, uh, and it, it comes between the sacred month of Rajab and the great blessed month of Ramadan. Uh, Shaban comes in between there. And the scholars have mentioned several reasons for the naming of the month and the meaning of Shaban, among which it is in this month that the Arabs used to disperse, meaning tasha'aba, in search of water. This is one of the practices they had and because of this action of dispersing, going out uh, to search for water, uh, tasha'aba, and then Shaban is derived therefrom. It is also said that they dispersed to carry out raids and forays in the month of Shaban because it came after the month of Rajab, which was a sacred month, uh, and that uh, fighting was prohibited in the sacred month. And, and this was the case even before revelation began in the uh, pre-Islamic days uh, of, of the, the Arabs, they would do this as well. They would observe the, the sacred month or the sacredness of those four months. It is also said uh, in terms of the meaning of Shaban that it, it is so called because it branches out or emerges it appears between two important months, Rajab and Ramadan. You have Shaban there. The plural, it, it is called Shaban because many good things emerges or comes out in this month. Yetashaab, uh, uh, good things that come out from this month or in this month or during this month of Shaban. And the name Shaban is derived from, uh, some scholars have mentioned also, in terms of the various meaning of, of the word. Uh, the name Shaban is derived from Shi'ab, which is a pathway in the mountains that, that leads to goodness, that leads to benefit. That, uh, for example, the Arabs would go in, a, in, in the mountains and hunt uh, and so on for animals, they get food and things of this sort. And the plural forms of the word Sha'aban are Sha'abanat and Sha'abin, uh, the plural forms of the word Sha'aban. So th these are some of the meaning uh, and, and derived forms of the month Sha'aban that I want to share with you. There are several things that you should do in Sha'aban to welcome this month. Uh, at the beginning of the month, uh, certain practices you should engage in to welcome this special month of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And so, uh, in, in this month now, it's an opportunity uh, for you to love this month and treat it in a special way because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did that. Prophet Ali loved this month, treated in a special way. We mentioned one of the things is the fasting. That even though it was not required to fast in, in the month of Shaban, he would fast most of the month of Shaban. He would fast in Shaban more than in any other month in the year except the month of Ramadan. He treated the month in a special way. This is, uh, th this is established in the authentic Sahih Hadith about the fast of the Prophet ﷺ or Siyam in the month of Shaban. And so it's an opportunity to strengthen your mahabba, your love for Rasulullah ﷺ and develop spiritual nearness to him by loving this month and treating it in a, a special way. Uh, this spiritual nearness. Uh, as you, with a sincere knee in your heart, strive to follow the way of the Prophet ﷺ. What he did, you strive to do that. And then you develop, you achieve this spiritual nearness, spiritual closeness, al-qurb, al-ruhi, to the Prophet ﷺ. And this was the, 
the yearning desire of the Sahabas to gain that closeness to the Prophet and it is based in the heart, how your heart feels about the Prophet and by doing these things it helps you, it, it helps you to develop more and more mahabba and love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and if you love him he loves you and if he loves you Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala loves you in this way so uh, important it is. Uh, one of the things also I want to recommend for you to do throughout this month of Shaban is to exchange greetings with others during this month. Shaban Mubarak greetings. To wish people Shaban Mubarak uh, as, you, as, as you would for Rajab for example, Rajab Mubarak. As you would for Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak. Uh, in this way. So for Shaban, you want to do this uh, to extend greetings to others uh, on this occasion of the month of Shaban being here. Uh, throughout the month to always uh, greet people with the greetings of Shaban, to say to them Shaban, Mubarak greetings to them in this way. Uh, it, it helps you to develop uh, greater awareness about the month of Shaban. Because sometimes uh, some Muslims may not know about the month of Shaban. They, might, they may not know that Shaban is here with us when the month comes. And the month goes by, departs from us, and they still don't know about Shaban. That, that, that awareness is not there. But when you can exchange greetings with them to sell, tell someone Shaban Mubarak, then they may ask you why if they don't know and you get a chance to explain to them. Or if they don't know about Shaban, then it's a reminder that Shaban is here. And you can then remind them what they should do in the month of Shaban to create this awareness about the presence of the month of Shaban with you. And the, the, the exchange of greetings will do that when you wish people Shaban Mubarak. Special greetings on this occasion of the month of Shaban al Muazzam being here with us. And this would help you because you're treating this month in a special way uh, for, to develop law for the Prophet uh, because he loved this month, treat it in a special way, you're following in his footsteps. And, and it also, these greetings would help you to be blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this special month. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you in this month and bless the month for you. As we mentioned, the month is referred to as Shahrul Rasul, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And it's our dua for each and every one of you that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase you in mahabba for his most beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam during this great month of Sha'aban al-Mu'azzam. Among the things you should do as well to welcome this great month of Sha'aban the special month of the Prophet ﷺ is to perform ghusl or a complete ritual bath. You should perform the ghusl at the beginning of the month of Sha'ban al Mu'azzam. Uh, and if you have not done it as yet, then do so as soon as possible. And the tasawwur, the tasawwur or mental visualization is that you are doing this to achieve physical purification first and foremost. And you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you spiritual purification in this special month of Sha'aban al muazzam So you do your uh, complete ghusl as you would do for Jum'ah and so on. Uh, the complete uh, bath uh, and, and uh, with the knee of welcoming the month of Sha'aban as a result of achieving physical purification. You do the bath to achieve physical purification and as a result of that you uh, would achieve spiritual purification. So the tasawwur uh, once again is that you, you, you're doing this to welcome the month of Shaban, doing your, your ghusl to welcome the month of Shaban uh, in order to achieve physical purification and you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you uh, spiritual purification in this special month of Shaban al muazzam There is an important connection between physical purification 
and spiritual purification. In, in our, our dean, throughout our dean, uh, an important connection between the two. For example, salah, the salah that we have to perform uh, five times every day, the fourth salah, and then sunnah and nafil and other salah, many other times throughout the day, uh, salat al-ishraq in the morning after uh, sunrise, uh, salat al-duha mid-morning time, uh, salat tawabin after maghrib salah, salat tahajjud late at night, and so on. Uh, many times we, we are recommended to perform salah uh, because of this important connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that it develops. But the Prophet sallallahu says, there is no salah for the one who does not have wudu. Meaning that wudu or being in a state of wudu is a necessary requirement for, for salah to be accepted. So if someone prays and prays a long time and they do not have wudu, then that salah is not accepted. It's not valid. There's a connection between uh, physical purification to be in a state of tahara and uh, uh, spiritual purification that you should be mindful of. Another example in our deen, uh, touching or holding the Qur'an. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reveals in the Qur'an, only those who are pure, physically pure, should hold the Qur'an. Uh, so the requirement to be in a state of wudu when you are holding, touching the Qur'an out of respect for the Qur'an, for example. So that connection again between physical purification and achieving spiritual purification. We are required also, for example, to perform ghusl for Jum'ah. On Jum'ah, uh, we, we, we perform uh, ghusl uh, for that day of Jum'ah and to attend uh, Jum'ah Salah and so on. That, that ghusl is from the way of the Prophet Also, perform ghusl for Eid al-Fitr that we should be mindful of. Then perform ghusl for Eid al-Adha that we should be mindful of. So look at these many examples of physical purification and spiritual purification. And then the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in the hadith about the Sab'a al-Munjiyat and Sab'a al-Muhlikat. The, the, the seven things that leads to your destruction, he mentioned, and then the seven things that lead, lead to your success in the dunya and in the akhirah. And that's the sab, uh, sab al munjiyat, the seven munjiyat, seven things that would lead to your success, uh, your felicity, your najat in the dunya and in the akhirah. And one of them is to be in a state of tahara. Amazing. To be in a state of physical cleanliness, to achieve that. And many are the hadith uh, about the, the great benefits of being in a state of tahara. And any good deed, any good deed, if, let's say for example, dhikr, if you do it in a state of tahara, of being clean and pure, in that state of tahara, the rewards are more. Than, than otherwise. Yes, the, the, it's, it's always preferable to be in a state of tahara for those other things that uh, you, you are the good deeds that you want to do. Always, you want to be mindful about that. Uh, many are the great benefits to be in a state of wudu. It, uh, that, that state of tahara keeps away shaitan, for example, and the evil jinns and evil influences that may want to harm you, uh, to be in a state of tahara, keeps away that, protects you, that you always want to do. So there is that important connection between physical purification and spiritual purification. And, and so the importance of the ghusl for the month of Shaban, uh, you want to perform that ghusl uh, to be pure, physically pure, and then through that, to intend to achieve and strive to achieve spiritual purification in this month 
of Shaban. And, and for more inf inf information on how to perform wudu, all the rules pertaining to wudu, and how to perform ghusl, all the rules uh, and regulations pertaining to that, uh, please refer to uh, my book, Essentials of Tahara. That, 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 and that book has all the details about this, so you can know how to be in this state of purity at all times. Another thing I want to recommend for you to do, to welcome this month of Sha'ban al muazzam that is to perform two rakat of Nafil Salah at the beginning of the month. And if you have not done that already, do that as soon as possible. Um, you may be hearing this instruction now, and the month has already started. Still, you want to do that. Perform two rakat at the beginning of the month. This is done so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bestow the blessings and virtues of this month on you. In the first rakat, recite Surah Al-Fatiha followed by Surah Al-Kafirun. And in the second rakat, recite Surah Al-Fatiha followed by Surah Al-Ikhlas. That's your two rakat, Nafil Salah, that you would do to uh, welcome this month of Shaban, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless this month for you and bless you in this month of Shaban al muazzam The Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam mentioned in hadith the, the, the power of, of this two rakat nafil salah. Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said that if you have a need of something, you have a need of something, whatever that is in your life, then you perform wudu and perform it well. He says in the Hadith, al wudu. Take your time and perform the wudu well. Then perform two rakat of nafil salah. And take your time and do it well. And then raise your hands and make sincere dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for your need, for the fulfillment of your need. And the Prophet says, Allah will answer you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will take care of that need for you. The power of Turakat Nafil Salah that you should strive to do uh, as often as you can. Uh, and in this case now, to welcome the month of Shaban, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless you in the month of, Sha of Shaban and bless the month of Shaban for you that many great openings will come your way in the month of Shaban. The next thing I want to recommend for you to do is the special dua for this month. The Prophet ﷺ made this dua, connecting these three special months together, praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his blessings in these three special months. So uh, this is something that you should do, this prophetic dua, recited after Salat al-Isha, every night during the month of Shaban, and recite it. 70 times. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan. To keep reciting this dua. 70 times every night after Salat Lisha, if, if that's possible for you to do. If another time is better, let's say you, you may be busy at work or other things after Isha, depending on uh, your work shift, night shift, and so on, or other or errands you may have. Uh, then you can do it at any other time, but it's good to fix the time. Let's say after Maghrib works for you, you fix it and do that every day 70 times, or after Fajr and so on. Uh, uh, fix the time and try to maintain it for the month 70 times. This Recite this prophetic dua. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan. Allahumma barik lana fi rajabin wa sha'bana wa balighna ramadan. Like that. Take a few minutes and you, you focus. Uh, connect with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imagine the Prophet is making this dua because he is one who taught us this dua uh, and, and so that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bless you in this time. All the good deeds you did in Rajab, that through this dua you pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, accept it. The, 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 the sins you may have done, uh, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you 
in, in what you did in Rajab and now Shaban and then Ramadan. Connect this three month period of time by reciting this dua throughout this three month period of time. Praying for the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, bless us in the month of Rajab and bless us in the month of Shaban and enable us to reach Ramadan, to be alive in Ramadan so we can spend it in a deserving manner. Wa balikna Ramadan. Allahumma barik lana fi Rajabin wa Shaabana wa balikna Ramadan. Beautiful dua of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam that you should do. In addition to that, because of the, this special month, you want to spend as much time as you can making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make much dua because this is a special month, the month of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And anything that's connected to the Prophet is connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yes, you have to understand this concept. The Prophet is the best of the creation of Allah, the most beloved of the creation of Allah. Habibullah, khayr khalqillah. So anything that's important for the Prophet is important for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet loved this month, treated this month in a special way. It's a special time. So the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is flowing more and more in this time of Shaban because of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes. So make much dua as much as you can for anything and everything you want. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so merciful. He will answer your dua. The next thing I want to mention to you to do is the khatam of istighfar. The Khatam of Istighfar. This month of Shaban is described as the month of Istighfar, the month of seeking forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it's from the practices of the awliya that they would engage in much Istighfar. And they recommended the, the, the number for the Khatam of Istighfar is to recite Astaghfirullah. 70,000 times during this month of Sha'ban to, to recite uh, Astaghfirullah 70,000 times during this month of Sha'ban. Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. You, you can uh, recite it in one sitting, in one jalsa at one time, if you have that time. Uh, many people don't. Uh, so you can divide 70,000, that number, into smaller amounts that you can recite. Uh, a thousand some days, two thousand some days, three thousand some days, like this, so that you can achieve uh, 70,000 times by the end of the month of Shaban. And it doesn't take too long. You sit down and you you recite Astaghfirullah a thousand times, it takes about 10 minutes. Astaghfirullah, 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 uh, in this way. The, the, the khatam uh, should be done in, in the following way. To, uh, first of all, recite the ta'awudh, a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim. Secondly, to recite the basmala, bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Thirdly, uh, to recite the ayah of istighfar. The verse of istighfar in the Quran, the verse of forgiveness. وَمَا تُقَدِّمُوا لِأَنفُسِكُمْ مِنْ خَيْرٍ تَجِدُوهُ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ هُوَ خَيْرًا وَأَعْذَمَ أَجْرًا وَاسْتَغْفِرُوا اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ And then item number four, you say, أَسْتَغْفِرُوا uh, Whatever number you want to achieve, you recite it. A thousand times, two thousand times, three thousand times in the jalsa. And then when you finish that, which, because that's the number that you're actually counting, the astaghfirullah, then the fifth item is the completion of that. Astaghfirullah al azim al ladhi la ilaha illa huwa al hayy al qayyum wa atubu ilayhi. And then item number six to the conclusion. وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ تَعَالَى عَلَى سَيِّدَنَا مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَأَصْحَابِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ That is the khatam of istighfar. 
And, and item number four, when you're reciting Astaghfirullah, that's what you're counting and maintaining a record of that count. You, you do it in one gel, so maybe a thousand times, another uh, occasion, two thousand times, three thousand times, so that by the end of the month, you finish your 70,000. The earlier, the better. So let us do it a few times now that, uh, so you can, you can see how to do the khatam of istighfar. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وما تقدموا لأنفسكم من خير تجدوه عند الله هو خيرا وأعظم أجرا واستغفروا الله إن الله غفور رحيم استغفروا الله استغفروا الله استغفر 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 الله العظيم الذي لا إله إلا هو الحي القيوم وأتوب إليه وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين so that is how you would do your khatam of istighfar. And once again, item number four is when you're reciting astaghfirullah, uh, that's when you would calculate the number, keep a record of it, uh, how many times you're reciting it, so that you accomplish 70,000 times uh, by the end of the month of uh, Shaban. Uh, you should also, it's a good thing to involve your family members, your relatives and friends, tell them about the khatm of istighfar, let them do it, so that you can accomplish several khatams of istighfar in this month of Sha'ban. You want to try to do that as best as you can. And for the details uh, of, of the recitations and so on, uh, are on uh, our Facebook page, facebook.com forward slash Sheikh Faisal. And then also on our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Sheikh Faisal, that uh, you can uh, review the, these lectures itself and you get the further instructions on the Facebook page that you can consult. Khatam of Istighfar. There's also a special salah that you should do in this month of Sha'ban. In different months, there are different salah unique for that month. For Rajab, we mentioned uh, Salatul Raghaib, the special Nafil salah that you should do in the month of Rajab. And we describe that and we talk much about that. And then on the night of Miraj Nabi, we actually did the Salatul Raghaib for those who attended that program on our YouTube channel, the live stream broadcast. And then in the next month, Ramadan, as you know, the unique Salah for Ramadan is Salatul Taraweeh. This is a Salah you do only in a month of Ramadan, Salatul Taraweeh, special for the month of Ramadan. In a similar way, there is a special Salah for the month of Shaban, that the Odiya of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do and they would tell their murids and students to do as well because of its great benefits. This salah is called Salatul Khair, the prayer of benefits. Salatul Khair, the prayer of benefits. And inshallah, in our next lecture in this series, 
we'll explain the details of Salatul Khair and its benefits and how to perform uh, this special Salah for the month of Sha'ban. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept from all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless each and every one of you in this month of Sha'ban. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shower his special blessings and forgiveness on you and grant you the virtues of this month of Sha'ban in your lives and help you to love the Prophet more and more in his special month, the month of Rasulullah, the month of Sha'ban al Mu'addam. Wa sallallahu ta'ala ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in wa akhi da'wana and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim inshallah we would uh, make our dua for tonight uh, the sponsor for the dinner program tonight uh, the uh, staff the admin staff we make special offer them may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them inshallah also we have request for dua uh, Sidi Malik from Florida informs us that uh, Sister Safiran Amina Khan from Minnesota has passed away. So, in the Rajaun. She's the aunt of uh, Brother Riyad, Sister Nare Narima's husband. Make do for them, inshallah. Sister Safi and Brother Fahimuddin from Chicago, make do for them. Brother Abu Iqbal requesting do for his niece, Naima Mahareen. For Shifa, may Allah grant her Shifa and Taman. Brother Muhammad Yaqub, request and dua. Sister Abid and Sister Shamayla, request and dua. We make dua for all of them, inshallah. And also for uh, our donors, we want to make special love for all our donors uh, today, inshallah. Those who donated today, those who donated uh, yesterday and before, all of them. We make special love for all of them. Uh, Sidi Mahmoud Al Hassan from St. John's, Newfoundland, for his daily donation. Siti Sabiha Qadir from Columbus, Ohio, for the monthly donation. Dr. Tahir Chowdhury for the uh, uh, Shaban automated donation. And uh, Siti Mariam for the Shaban, Siti Mariam from Rochdale, United Kingdom, for the Shaban automated donation. May Allah bless all of them. We also want to recognize and thank Sister Bibi Farida Chan from Miami, Florida, uh, for the live stream equipment. Uh, Sister Brenda Williams from Harlem, New York, for the live stream equipment. Sister uh, Farida, Babs, and uh, Omar uh, from Pembroke Pines for the live stream equipment. Uh, Sister Nisha uh, Azimun Rahoman from Brampton for the live stream equipment. Sister Bibi Jamila Wahab uh, from North York for the live stream equipment. Uh, City Sophia Ali Pisoa from Miramar, Florida, for the live stream equipment. Uh, Sister Halima Khan Dubey and the Dubey family from Ajax for the live stream equipment. Uh, and uh, 
Brother Masood Dar from Cambridge for the live stream equipment. Uh, these are some of the names you want to recognize today. And to make dua for all of them and all our donors. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all of them and all of you. Alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of you. And now we'll make dua for each and every one. There are several requests for dua. We include all of that in dua. Sidi Malik requests in dua for Sister Safiran Amina Khan from Minnesota who passed away. Brother Riyadh's aunt. And uh, for everyone else, we include all of you in dua, inshallah. So kindly raise your hands and join me in dua. Uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all your dua. Whatever dua you want to make, put that in your heart, and we make dua for you, inshallah. Please raise your hands and join me in dua. Allahumma ameen. A'udhu billahi sameel alim in shaitan rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in La ilaha ila ta subhanaka inna kunna mina al-zalimeen La ilaha ila Allahu al-halimu al-kareem Subhanallahi Rabbil Arshi al-azim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Allahumma inna nas'aluka mujibati rahmatik Wa azaima maghfiratik والغنيمة من كل بير والسلامة من كل إثن اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرت ولا هما إلا فرجت ولا دينا إلا قديت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا مريضا إلا شفيت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا ميتا إلا رحمت ولا حاجة من حوائج الدنيا والآخرة هي لك رضا إلا قديتها برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار ودخلنا الجنة مع الأبرار يا عزيز يا غفار يا رب العالمين ربنا تقبل منا إنك أنت السميع العليم وتب علينا إنك أنت التواب الرحيم وصلى الله تعالى على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله سيدنا محمد رسول الله اللهم آمين 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 may Allah subhanahu wa taala increase us in توفيق and قبول and زيادة may Allah subhanahu wa taala protect you from the coronavirus but pandemic protect you your family your loved ones from all sources of harm keep you in the best state of well-being keep you in a state of afia always i mean we want to thank you for watching the program tonight uh, we hope you can join us uh, every evening at 7 p.m toronto time please arrange your time your errands your work and other things that you can be available at 7 p.m to participate in the program and maximize your benefits and blessings Inshallah. Do remember to reach out to your family members, your relatives, your friends, other Muslims you know. Encourage them to watch the program, share the YouTube link with them. Uh, let them subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Inshallah they'll benefit and you'll receive increased blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember uh, the great occasion of Nisf Shaban will be next Saturday night the 15th night of Shaban. So this is a special occasion, one of the great nights of the year, the Eid of the Angels. Yes, uh, so we'll have special observance. So please plan your time to be with us. We had a beautiful program for Miraj and Nabi, and similarly, we're planning a beautiful program for Shaban and Muazzam, the Nisf Shaban, uh, mid of Shaban night. It has great significance, and we'll talk about it in our daily lectures and so on as we continue the Shaban series. So tell everyone that they can join us, inshallah. 
And tell them from now, they, they come for the 7 p.m. program and they get accustomed to being with us, inshallah. This is very good. And if you're able to uh, connect uh, the YouTube broadcast to your TV, it's, it's very good. The, the viewing experience is much beautiful. You en enjoy it mo much more, inshallah. If you're able to do that, then do so. We recommend for you to do that, inshallah. Uh, do remember the Shaban appeal for the automated donation for Shaban, the daily automated donation. Uh, so to do this, you go to our website, islamformonline.com, and you click on the Shaban automated donation button. And there are three options, one for 10-day automated donation, the second one for 20-day automated donation, and the third one for 30-day automated donation, which is the highest level, the third level. Uh, select whichever one you want and how much you like to donate every day and the system will process your donation. So this is a wonderful way uh, and a great opportunity to get more blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to enrich you many more times because the more you give for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enriches you many more times. Uh, so we hope you can all donate for the Shaban uh, special appeal. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you for doing so. Uh, until we meet again, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you always in the shade of his special mercies. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu.